folks, uh, we're back again, and uh, this time I got something in the mail, and I've got another mail call here, and um, hopefully you guys will be interested in what this is. This is uh, something from the United Kingdom, so we're going to see what this is. Um, I already know what it is, but I actually got it in the mail. It's kind of uh, neat that I've got to uh, wait to do the video, so... Um, you know, normally I would have just torn into this and end of story, but here we go. We'll all find out together what this is. Okay. Well, this is uh, something that uh, I ordered uh, for uh, someone, and I wanted to piggyback along and get some other stuff for myself to finish up a couple of projects. And um, as it so happens, uh, I ended up ordering more than uh, I really probably needed to, but... Um, it's from Mr. John Roberts with uh, Naismith Roundway. And uh, got some packages here. And uh, we'll see what they involve. Okay. So, um, I have ordered a Roundway from him before. I have not ordered Naismith from him. Uh, he has both. I like both uh, figure lines. And um, we'll see what we got here. These are really well packaged. Um, Let's see what we got here. We're going to set these off to the side. We're going to do the Naismith uh, items first. Uh, although I think they're kind of mixed together with everything. So maybe that's probably not the best plan. Let's see what we got in this first packet first. Okay. All right. One package of four. Okay. So um, one of the reasons for uh, ordering this is... Uh, my buddy Mitch is uh, building a Korean army and with uh, Naismith figures. And um, I had uh, some that I picked up out of a grab bag, and but I didn't have enough to make his complete 3.0 army. So uh, we decided to order from uh, Mr. Roberts and, um, and get the remainder of those items. Okay, so here we, uh, we're gonna put, these are all Naismith. Nice that they've got uh, they've got tags on them that say what they are, so I don't have to go back to a catalog and find the code for you. But uh, we've got some um, Korean armored infantrymen here, code S24 from Naismith, and uh, we'll have a picture down there at the bottom. We'll open these up and put a picture down there so you guys can see what these figures look. These are really cool armored spearmen guys. Um, they're just not going to show up on the camera uh, unless I take a separate picture of them, but. Um, now they are, um, they are six figures to a pack, which is kind of unusual. Um, that's also why they're, I believe, uh, pound 80. So, um, they're six figure packs. Got to remember that when you order them, make sure you don't, uh, screw up and not order enough. Hopefully we didn't do the same thing. <laughs> Hopefully we took that into account. So we got some Korean armored infantrymen. We got uh, Korean light infantry with bow. Got some bowmen here. Also Naismith design. Okay, and uh, what else we got here? We've got some more Korean infantry, light infantry with bow, code S50. That's uh, destined for Mitch's army. Um, meanwhile, I've got my, I know I mentioned it in another one of my videos, I've got uh, some of my armies that I was really hesitant to do a 3.0 conversion from my 2.2s. Um, but once I did one and it was really successful, the uh, my French ordinance, uh, uh, 482A uh, conversion. I literally took figures off the stands and popped them off and re-glued them and really encountered no problem. You just got to be careful. I mean, I even use epoxy, so uh, it's really not that big of a deal. Once I did that, I'm like, well, you know, I'm going to convert. Um, I'm going to convert my 2.2 uh, armies uh, slowly into 3.0. 3 I'm not really interested in playing in them in 2.2 form anymore. And uh, my song is one of them. And uh, my sung, sung army is made with Naismith figures. And um, instead of just putting them aside and not using them, and I, I know that there's a there's a, a manufacturer that came out with really cool uh, sung figures, and they're supposedly more accurate. But if I go that route, the entire sung army that I have painted, which is probably 70% of what I need to convert, is uh, it won't be compatible. So I'm just like, you know what? Uh, I'm fine using these guys. 
Um, they're based on um, they're based on older drawings of people who say uh, I think it's a Greer. It's from the Armies and uh, Enemies of Ancient China book. It's from like the seventies, and they say, oh, well, it's not really accurate what they have there. Well, you know, I don't want to play keep it up with the Joneses. I do like the new figures that they came out with. I like these two. I'm just going to move forward with these these figures, and these are the Pith Helmet style uh, crossbowmen, Sung Chinese crossbowmen, code S thirty seven. We got some of those coming, so uh, I believe there's some more of those. And then we got some Sung Heavy Cavalry, which aren't really heavy, but uh, they, they have some of these already in my army, so we just needed a couple more cavalry stands. So this is Code S38, Sung Chinese Heavy Cavalry. And uh, here's some more Sung Chinese Crossbowmen, S37. And uh, Sung Chinese Crossbowmen, S37. Yeah, I got to make a lot more stands of those. And, uh, hey, Burgundian archers firing. That's exactly who I'm working on now. I was short of some uh, archers, so this is going over here in the roundway. This is roundway code RKB7, roundway. He carries both. We, I like both of the figure lines. As you can see uh, in this first pack, uh, this was the reason for the order. It was getting uh, figures for Mitch. He got three packs and looks like I'm up to five. See, I... It just got out of hand, and I really had to cull down what I wanted to get, but I figured, you know, if we're going to do that order from the UK, let's make it worthwhile. Okay, next package. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, I do like the new manufacturer's song figures, but, you know, the whole thing about the keeping up with the Joneses is, you know, uh, at some point you just have to, uh, and, and this, I encountered this when I was working on my Turks. Um, I was almost all the way done with my Turks, had all the figures for them, and a new manufacturer um, came, actually the same manufacturer that came up with a nice, uh, with the song, came up with some Ottomans. And they look really nice. And I'm like, well, I'm not going to just throw away all the figures that I bought, even because I like other ones. So at some point, you just have to just be happy with what you have and um, not go in a different direction. So um, anyhow, um, I digress. Okay, so here we have, uh, this is a Roundway uh, Burgundy. RKB3 mounted archer, okay, and uh, these guys are um, again. I'll take a picture. We'll put them down there in the corner. See what see see what it is. These are the guys that are going to be uh, for the mounted uh, longbow stands. Uh, so it comes four horses in a pack, and uh, four horses I'm, and and riders in the pack. And we're going to put one of these guys on the back of the 40 by 40 stand um, with longbowmen on the front. So um, needed to get some of these so that it matches up with these guys on the front. So um, more Burgundians, which is actually the army that I'm working on right now. Um, they have a light horse as well. This is a Roundway RKB2 um, cross, uh, mounted crossbowmen. And i um, going to use these for, um, for those guys. This guy's got a funky helmet. And they got some of these uh, late... Uh, 1400s type helmets that uh, really odd looking. Kind of like the Frenchman in uh, Holy Grail there with the open face helmet. Okay, so uh, these, we're going we're gonna to get to them in a second. Okay, we're going to put these to the side. This is a special thing that uh, I don't want to get into. Uh, they are round way, but uh, we'll do them last. Okay, and uh, on a whim, I saw that they had an ox cart driver and baggage. Um, so we've got an ox cart here from uh, it's the uh, from their east far east line Na Naismith S14 ox cart with driver and baggage. So um, hey, I'm famous for not making camps, so maybe we'll have a little camp here with these guys. Okay, so we see the count is uh, Mitch's didn't grow any, and uh, I've got more than I already need with. And uh, what, I gotta take a video one time of my my bag of. Uh, of lead, but I've got a box that uh, I'm not sure if my car can carry it. Let's put it that way. And that's just 15 millimeter, and that's just stuff I found on uh, flea markets and such. So this is what we got going on so far. We're going to leave these round ways for the end. We'll do them last. I don't want to get spread too thin, but uh, kind of a neat upcoming thing. Maybe you'll be interested in it. Okay, so let's see. More stuff for me. I didn't do a very good job of uh, controlling myself maybe here. Sung Chinese Guard, okay, so this is uh, S42, Naismith design, um, Sung Chinese Guard. Got those uh, for the Sung guys as well. 
All right, what do we got here? Oh, this is another thing for later. Okay, we've got, um, uh, I'm also uh, working on a Kandata army kind of on the side. That's definitely on the short list. And um, there's actually a unit of, um, in the Burgundian army that I'm working on now, there's actually a unit of uh, Italian knights. So one of the, one of the uh, units that I'm going to end up using in my Kandata army will already be made in the Burgundian one. And uh, I was short on some of these knights. And um, this is a Venetian knight mounted with lance. I actually didn't have this guy. I, I had many uh, roundway um, figures in my that I mixed and matched, but I didn't have this one. So um, that's pretty cool. Kind of a new figure to mix in. Because could I make, mix them all in in different stands and use different manufacturers and so forth. And then this is a knight guy that I do have before. He has the... Um, he has the one shoulder that has the extra armor, almost like jousting, um, and has a really cool helmet. Uh, we'll have a picture of him as well down there at the corner. So we'll have close-ups of all of these so you guys can see what's in the pack. Um, four mounted figures in it. This is, um, I'm sorry, this first one was RKV, Venetian Knight mounted with Lance. That's a round way. And then this one is RKV-10, Italian Knight mounted with Lance. So you got a Venetian one and just a generic Italian one. Uh, one of the things that they said in the, in the catalog, or they used to say in the Roundway catalog is, you know, a lot of these just have the name of the, of the figure, but a lot of them are interchangeable between nationalities. And during the time period, they use uh, similar style armors and everything. So many of the figures, just because it says Italian, you might actually be able to use in a French army and so forth. You just have to look at pictures and use your own judgment. Okay, more Chinese guards for uh, Naismith S42. And, uh, oh, that's for later. Okay, Mitch, well, I hopefully uh, all your stuff came in because um, you only got three packs so far. And, oh, uh, yeah, this is over here, too. I guess Mitch won't be paying me much for this order or uh, much of the shipping when we split it. All right, so what do we got here? This last pack here. Okay, we got uh, Sung Chinese Infantry Throwing Spear, okay? And this is a little guy that I actually use for, in my Sung army, I actually need a second uh, horde. <clears throat> I built one horde and I use the horde figure, all these little guys, and it's basically a guy with uh, no, no, no helmet or anything. He just has a little buckler and he has a shield over his head. And, I mean, uh, um, he has a spear over his head. And I use this as the main horde figure and uh, put like one or two of these guards in the back, kind of like prodding them along, kind of like herding. Uh, it's like herding these little cats. So uh, this is what I'm going to use them as a horde. Uh, I already have one. I'm happy with how it looks. So I, I, I'm going to make the other one that looks very similar to it. That's S41 Sung Chinese Infantry Throwing Spear from Naismith Design. Okay. And what else do we have here? Oh, well, I wanted to make sure I didn't run out of any, so here we go. S41, Sung Chinese Infantry Throwing Spear. Okay, and what else do we have here? We have uh, more Burgundian archers, uh, RKB7, archers firing. Okay, we need a lot of bows in this Burgundian army. Yeah, and just to prove it, here they are again. Another pack of them. What have we got here? Oh, that's for later. Okay, this is Italian and Venetian uh, RKV-11, light cavalry with sword. Okay, and um, again, we'll have a picture of it. Oh, this guy looks like he could be almost like a commander. He's very similar to the, uh, the other knight that has the, um, the other Italian knight with the, uh, with the helmet. He's got a sword held over his head. That's cool. Good to mix those guys in there. And then we also have Venetian Light Cavalry with Sword. And who's this guy? This is similar to the Venetian Knight, also with a uh, sword overhead. Okay, so we'll get close-up pictures on those. They'll be at the bottom. Of course, when you view this, they'll already be down there. Okay, so um, hopefully Mitch didn't need more than this because um, I think we just he just needed four stands of the armored. Ca he just needed uh, four uh, armored infantrymen figures, so he got six, so we're good. I, I think that's what the case. So we went to order this, and we ended up ordering all this other stuff. So, you know, you know how that is. Um, you know how that is with gaming. So, 
Okay, so we're going to move all this stuff to the side, and then we're going to talk about the new stuff. Okay, it is still from uh, Roundway, but it, it's, it's an army that uh, I'm going to be looking at doing at some point. So, as some of you are aware of, um, I've been kind of watching what I've been doing. I've, I've uh, been working on armies that are kind of in the cusp between the uh, late 1400s, early 1500s, and that's really for a certain, re for a particular reason. <clears throat> we're going to be working on at some point in the future. I'm not going to say when, uh, because it does take some time. Um, the Renaissance modification for um, DBA 3.0. Uh, it's going to take some time because workload at work needs to slow down. Uh, actually, when we did uh, DBA RRR, uh, it was the economy was in a crapper, at least here in the U.S., and uh, it was pretty slow. So uh, now it's the polar opposite of that. It's extremely busy and seems like it's busier and busier every day. So, you know, it might take uh, a year, two years, five years, you know, we'll get to it. But in order to do that, we've got to play test it with armies of that period. So here's another army that I have many other, in, in my travels, I have many other figures that are already worked for them. I figured I'm going to order from Ramway anyways. Let's get these guys on board too and have some variety. I like to mix and match stuff. Who are they? They're the Mamelukes. And uh, it's a book 445 list, and they're also an enemy of my Ottoman Turks, and probably a fair balanced enemy of my Ottoman Turks. So that's kind of the incentive to build them, um, you know, so uh, they'll, they'll be on the short list. Hopefully everybody doesn't just jump in and start building Mameluke armies and take the wind out of my sails. Don't steal my thunder. But uh, anyhow, I do have some Mameluke figures already from uh, a museum. And uh, they sh museum figures are kind of weird because they're nice, but some they, they vary greatly in size. And um, I'm not going to pull them out and put pictures of them on here, but uh, they are uh, compatible with these. Um, they should be just fine. So what do we got here? So we've got, um, move these off to the side. We've got code RKMA1, Mamelukes, Cavalrymen, Laminate Armor, Lance Raised. Okay, so these guys are, yeah, these guys have like these this... Uh, Almost like a Karas type uh, helmet that uh, the museum figures also have. Uh, you, you guys can't see them here, but uh, we'll take a picture and we'll put them right down there. And uh, anyhow, this is uh, RKMA Cavalryman. Now these, this army has like a lot of mounted stands. I think like three quarters of the army is basically mounted. So um, this certainly isn't going to cover it. It's just for a variety of uh, figures and Mixing them in. Okay, we got also uh, Mamelukes, RKMA2, Armored Cavalryman, and Corselet with Lance. So um, these guys look um, similar but different. You know, uh, their horses actually are, these guys are almost like a more Timurid style with um, uh, the male. And these guys are also, uh, have almost a, um, like a, a covering with um, cloth with a little square. So... We'll have a picture of those so you can see what the difference is there between them. But definitely compatible with each other. What else do we got here that's mounted? Mamelukes, RKMA3, Armored Cavalryman and Corselet. So the corselets continue, but this time uh, the horses are unarmored. So you've got guys in unarmored horses um, firing bows. Okay, so this is um, four figures. So we'll be mixing those. These will probably be for uh, all the cavalry stands, um, the three CV can't stands, not light horse. Um, but light horse, we do have these guys. So this is uh, RKMA4, Bedouin Light Cavalry with Javelin. Okay, And these guys definitely are more rustic looking. They've got basically like a little buckler shield. Um, they've got a, uh, a javelin raised... Um, not not completely overhead, but over their shoulder, and uh, unarmored horses, and um, so some nice trappings on those horses as well, uh, nice um, uh, straps and that kind of stuff. And uh, last one we have uh, Mamelukes R K M A six foot soldier firing bow. So got some bow stands, got some uh, cavalry guys on bow. I think they have two or three, uh, one or two bow stands that they can have. So. Got that on there as well. So, so anyways, uh, I made this order to get three packs for Mitch and ended up getting, I don't know what, 18 packs for myself. Well, you know how it is. 
Um, I don't buy things very often since I got so many, but I figured, hey, if we're gonna have to ship them over here from the UK, you know, might as well make it worth a while. And um, well, thanks to John Roberts and uh, from Naismith Roundway getting this order out to us. And um, we can get to work. I know Mitch doesn't actually paint. His stuff is gonna be going to his uh, special supplier that's uh, gonna put the army together for him. And um, can be on his way. That'll be another army that uh, hopefully in the future we'll see in the videos. So anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this unboxing. Um, and um, not don't usually see very many figures from this uh, manufacturer like on the uh, internet. It's very hard to find pictures for them online, but um, it's good stuff. I like them. Um, they're made of the good alloy, the, the hard alloy as opposed to the uh, old soft alloy that some manufacturers are still using. Um, I like them. They paint up really well. All right. Until next time.